Joining me now is Democrat Janelle Perez, running for Florida State Senate District 38. Janelle, thanks for joining us. Good to meet you. Thank you. It's really nice to meet you. So you're running for the state Senate seat. I am. As a Democrat. Yes. Which would be the minority in Tallahassee. Absolutely. <laughs> why this and why now? So um, the reason why I decided to run was because uh, when I was 28 years old, I was diagnosed with a stage four, what was supposed to be an incurable cancer. Um, I got my treatment right here in Miami, um, and I saw way too many people dying, waiting for access to care. Um, I would go into the emergency, to the CTU to get my chemo treatment at probably seven in the morning, and when I'd leave at 4 p.m., the same people that were in the waiting room were still in the waiting room. And I remember thinking, my gosh, these are still the lucky people. These are the ones that had um, the opportunity to take a day off of work to be able to go get their treatment or access to a doctor in the first place to diagnose them. Um, and I figured, you know what, this isn't fair. Um, this isn't right. Uh, my family and I also are in the health care business, um, so I have a, a very unique perspective on, on the business of health care. And I figured, you know, what a better time than right now to run. Um, you know, cancer, cancer does something to people. It makes you realize that every day is not promised. Um, so instead of waiting for the right time, I decided, you know, this is th there's no better time than right now um, i've got children that are growing up two little girls that are growing up here and i want to make sure that their generation has a much better future so in just a few seconds i already know you're a mother you're a cancer survivor and you're a businesswoman but you also happen to be a proud member of the lgbtq community so how do you think all of those factors play in on what you want to do in tallahassee well i'm a fighter um i've i've, I've had to fight my entire life to have the things that I have today. Um, and I, in my heart, strongly believe that this community deserves better. Um, and I'm gonna fight so that we all do. Um, and, and yes, I am part of the LGBTQ community, but I don't think that matters when it comes to the decisions that I'm gonna be making in Tallahassee or just how effective I can be when I'm a legislator. Let's get back to medical care because you say that you want every resident in the district to have access to medical care I do. without going bankrupt. Absolutely. So how do you propose doing that? So, um, so for me, I mean, I, 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 I am a cancer survivor. I've been seven years cancer free. Um, I've received a bill in the mail for $30,000 and not known what to do. Um, I got my gallbladder taken out just a few, uh, I think it's about a year ago. I have health care and I've paid $8,000 so far towards that gallbladder for a family here in Miami-Dade County on top of all of the unaffordability issues that we have as a community. A crisis, a health care crisis like that, an emergency like that can be catastrophic. So when I get to Tallahassee, that, that perspective that I have as a business owner and understanding insurance and that it does need to be profitable for the for the business owner but also provide exceptional and extraordinary affordable care for our community I can dance that line and I can definitely get to Tallahassee as the first legislator who actually is in the healthcare business and knows health insurance um, you know they're gonna come to me to be able to, to talk about these things and address these issues in addition to health care, because you are a businesswoman, what are the other important issues you think residents want you to tackle in Tallahassee if you make it there? Well, you know, as I've been going around knocking on doors, the number one issue that most homeowners are talking about, and myself as a homeowner, have, have been impacted by this, but it's homeowner's insurance. Um, you know, just last year we had 62 days and a special session on taxpayer dollars to address the homeowner's insurance crisis. Um, and Tallahassee and our legislators went up there and they did absolutely nothing to address the issues. Um, you know, we had Democrats in the state legislature try to present bills that would cap the increase um, of homeowners insurance. Instead, we bailed out all of these large companies who later on ended up leaving the state anyways. Um, in my business, in, in the insurance business, in the health insurance business, I understand competition and how important that is to provide better services and higher quality and bring down the cost. Um, we need to incentivize these companies to come back to the state of Florida and we need to do it for our community so that they can compete with one another and also bring down the cost of, of, of um, homeowners insurance for most Floridians and for all Floridians. We don't have much time, but um, 
this is the first time you're running for office and you've received some significant endorsements already from Miami-Dade County Mayor Daniela Levincava, a former Congresswoman Donna Shalala and Debbie Mukarso Powell, and also State Senator Lauren Book. This must give you a lot of confidence as you move forward in this campaign. I'm never going to run this race like we are confidently winning. I'm going to run this race like we are behind and I am going to give this every single thing that I have. Um, that fight that I used to beat cancer, that's the fight that I'm bringing to this race. And that's the fight that I'm going to bring to Tallahassee. Um, so no one should ever underestimate me in any way whatsoever or underestimate how much, how much uh, I'm willing to work for this um, and for our community because we deserve it. Every single Floridian deserves for Tallahassee and our legislators to address the actual issues that are happening in our communities, not fight mystical creatures and culture wars. And we're going to have to leave it there, Janelle. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. And good luck to you in Thank November. You. I appreciate this.